Today we will be making this easy crochet top. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. It's Morgan with Dream 9 Design. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really easy, simple, beginner friendly crochet crop top as I'm sure you saw in the um, picture before you clicked into this video and the picture before the video started. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and let's go ahead and jump into the materials that we will be needing for today's video. The materials needed for today is an H or a five millimeter crochet hook. You will need a tapestry needle to sew in your ends, a pair of scissors, and I'm just using Red Heart Super Saver yarns. And the color that I'll be using today is the Buff Fleck. However, this top right here was made with a different color of fleck. It was also made with Red Heart yarn. Um, so that's the materials that we'll be using today. And let's jump into the video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating in the size small. However, I will tell you how many stitches to do for a larger size. Um, but for the size small, you do want to start out with just a slip knot just like that. And then we want to chain 64 chains. Now you want to do it a little bit loosely. You don't want to do it super tight. So there's one, two. So you just yarn over and pull through. Go ahead and do that a total of 64 times if you're doing a small, 74 times if you're doing a large or medium. And then if you want to make it in a size large, go ahead and chain 84. If that's not big enough, go ahead and just do it until it fits the bottom side um, below your breast. Now that you have your chains done, we are going to be working in half double crochets back along our chain. So we're going to yarn over and not into this uh, stitch right next to our hook, but this one right here. We are going to insert, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three, <clears throat> excuse me, all three loops on your hook, just like that. Now into the next stitch, we're going to do the same thing. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So go ahead and do that all the way down your chain until you get to the other side and then meet me back here for round two. Now that you have your first row of half double crochets done, we are going to chain up one and turn our work. Now our chains do not count as stitches at all in this pattern, um, so that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to half double crochet right back into this first stitch right here. So yarn over, go through all three loops just like we did before. And now you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to half double crochet back along this row. This is actually our repeat row. And for the size small, I have a total of 17 rows of half double crochets. Um, so this would be row one and row two. So then you just want to continue along until you have a total of 17 half double crochet rows if you're making a size small. Now, if you're making a medium, I would increase that by three rows. So 17, 18, what's that, 20? And then 23 rows if you're going to be making a size large. Now, you can choose to do this with more rows if you need more coverage, um, but that's just my row count if you are following along with me. So go ahead and you will do row two, chain one, turn, chain one, turn, chain one, turn, and you'll do that all the way around. So do that for 17 rows and meet me back here. Now, this is what it should look like once you get done with your 17 rows. Now we're gonna work along the edge, we're gonna work down here, work up along the edge, and we'll finish at the top. Now, here we are going to do something a little bit different. Now we are going to work um, just a half double crochet right into the half double crochet that we actually just made. So right back in here, we will make one half double crochet. Now we're working along the edge here. Now what we wanna do is we just want to chain three, one, two, three, 
and then we are actually going to skip this space right here and then we're going to place just a half double crochet you see here's a row but we're gonna skip a few stitches and we're gonna go right here into the side and make a half double crochet Now from here, we are going to go till we're just about in the middle. Um, on my last one, I did a total of six half double crochets. So here we have one. Now into this next space here, we can do two. Just kind of wherever you can find a spot is good. Now we're gonna go into the next space. We will make um, a third stitch. We will go again, make a fourth. Again, we're working six half double crochets and I'm just gonna find this spot right here. How many is that? Four. Now we're gonna go into this next space here for five. Let me grab up a little bit more yarn. And one more stitch right here for six. Okay, so as you see after our chain, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now what we wanna do is chain three again. And then we are going to skip this space right here and then right over here, we are going to place a half double crochet. So through all three loops on your hook. So now we have two spots where we will be lacing on the back. And now I'll go ahead and work um, five more half doubles because we want to have six in total. So there's one, two, three, four, five, And then one more stitch right here, that makes six. So now we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. Now we are going to place one half double into our first space right here. And now we have the side. Now we wanna start working along this edge here. So what we need to do to be able to do that is we actually need to place one more um, single crochet. So we're not doing half double crochets, we're switching over to single crochets. Back into the same space where you made your half double crochet. So go ahead and place a single crochet there. And now we are simply going to single crochet into every single stitch here across until we get to the other side and then meet me back here and I will work this side with you. It will be exactly the same as this, um, but work your single crochets and I'll meet you back at the corner. I have single crocheted across the edge and now we wanna start working down the other side. So we're actually gonna go back to half double crocheting and we're gonna go back into the same space where we just made our last single crochet. So now we are kind of turned so that we can work up along this side. Now what we wanna do is chain three, one, two, and three, and then just like before, we're gonna skip some spaces here and then we will work a half double crochet. Now we're gonna work six half double crochets, um, again, just along these spaces here. So there's one, here is two, three, four, five, and we will go right here for six. See, we're about halfway, so now what we want to do is we are going to chain up three. One, two, and three. We're going to skip some spaces in here and then right into this spot. So we'll skip one, two, three of those little spaces. We'll make our half double crochet. 
and then we will continue to make the rest. So we would need to do five more half doubles. So we already did one, so we want six in total. So there's two, three, four, five, and we'll go six right here. Now, if you guys end up putting more half double crochets in between this, that's totally fine if you don't, you know, if you have a hard time finding these little spots. As long as you have three of these, you will be good to go. So now we're gonna chain up three. And here we are um, back to like the last kind of row that we did. So into this um, half double crochet right here, that is where we're gonna make our last half double crochet. So we're going to insert into there and make our last half double. Now to finish this off, just for the body part, and then we'll work on the straps. This, we are just going to single crochet all the way across until we get up to this corner. So go ahead and do that and meet me back at this video. And if you're following along with me in the size small, from the corner right here, you want to count in 30 stitches. And then from this side, count in 30 stitches. Now I couldn't find another stitch marker, so I just used some yarn here. Now if you're doing a medium or a large, go ahead and count in. Um, you wanna make sure that you have three or four stitches in the middle. This part's not super, super important on the stitch count, but we are going to start making the straps. So the way that I like to attach this is I just pull my yarn through and make a knot and then we'll chain. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. Once you have your knot made, I you pull your yarn through and start chaining. So here's a chain of one. Now I like to chain 60 chains. If you would like more for the next strap, that's okay. We're making two separate straps and they'll tie in the back. Um, so for me, I'm going to go ahead and do 60. Feel free to try this on and make sure that it fits comfortably around your neck, but if you're following along with me, go ahead and chain 60, then you will attach where your second stitch marker is and make another chain of 60, and then meet me back here. Now, what I like to do with the tips of these is I like to make a knot, and so I just hold them together, the end and the work, just make a little knot, make sure you're pulling through both of those, pull it up to the tip like that, and then you can just cut this yarn right here. And then I do that to both sides. So this is what it looks like once you have your straps on. You will need to obviously um, sew in these ends, but now you can set that aside and then you want to make the strap for the back. Now this one just laces up through the back. For me, I like to do thir uh, 300 chains, 250 to 300 chains, um, whatever fits comfortably around for your size. So go ahead and play with this, um, do up to 300 chains and meet me back here when you're all done. Now that we have our strap made, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Now I like to go from the back to the front and we're going to do that on both sides. And again, remember you want to sew in all your ends. So from the back to the front on your first loop. Okay, make sure these are even. And now we are going to crisscross this side through our hole over here and then this one is going to go to the middle. Remember, we're going from the inside out, and this is how we strap it up for the back. Okay, and then we're gonna do that one more time on our bottom here. And that is how simple this top is. Now I'm gonna flip over and show you guys the one that is finished with the ends sewn in. Um, so then we simply 
tie it at the top right there. We have our lovely back straps and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on. But if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of today's tutorial. Make sure you subscribe because it really does help my channel out. And let's take a look at the finished product.